Over the past years, Bhutan has experienced a rapid change in average temperatures, causing extreme rainfall during summers and longer droughts during winters. Paddy fields are destroyed by flash floods in the summer and are left barren for longer periods of time in the winter. Windstorms and hailstorms further aggravate the situation, causing massive, heartbreaking loss for the farmers. With increased temperature, higher incidences of pest infestations on both plant crops and livestock are projected, which further impact food production, food and nutritional security. 90% of our farmers are estimated to be smallholders or subsistence farmers. So in that case, uh, so weather or the climate change has and are, is having a direct impact. In 2021, uh, our farmers, uh, paddy growing farmers, they incurred a huge loss due to heavy rainfall during the paddy harvest season, which is not usual. Climate change exerts double pressure on climate-sensitive agriculture and women farmers. More and more farmers leave their lands fallow and these have led to decreasing contribution to our GDP from the agriculture sector. To solve these issues, the National Adaptation Plan has identified a few key measures such as enhancing water use efficiency and promoting sustainable management of water resources, strengthening agromet services and climate information systems, promoting and upscaling sustainable land management programs through enhanced technologies, creating sustainable land management, planting climate resilient crop varieties, implementing climate smart technologies, introducing and strengthening pest surveillance systems and diagnostic facilities. Climate change has brought with it new complex challenges to an already vulnerable livelihood. But the National Adaptation Plan can be a way forward to achieve food security for the country. We need to support them so that our farmers are able to sustain in face of changing climate, which is a new reality. <laughs>